Welcome back to my channel. It's Candace with a K here. We're normally talk books, beauty, and kicks. Today we are talking shoes and they are by the coveted brand House of Chanel. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So as usual, I bought some shoes. <laughs> Um, very plainly, I bought some shoes. They um, have been on my want list forever. I did buy these previously and I bought them in the wrong size. So then I was like, okay, found them again in my size in fair condition. And so I bought them again. I did buy these on consignment from The Real Real. I did say I would never shop The Real Real again. Yet here we are. So never say never. Um, but I bought these because I do think they are a staple in your wardrobe because they're perfect for not only summer, but also fall, um, especially because fall in LA is a little like not really seasonal. Like it's still 90 degrees in LA. You can still get away with wearing these, but yeah. So let's get into the shoes. So these are the coveted Chanel espadrilles. Um, they were actually in pristine condition. Um, as you can see, they were lightly worn. This is the tag that you're supposed to remove if you are certain you're keeping them. I am certain that I'm keeping them, so I will be taking this off. But as you see from the sole, they were lightly worn. The espadrille of the shoe is still in fair condition. The upper is still in fair condition. Um, there is just slight creasing in the back, but that is normal wear, so I'm not too upset about that. And um, there's wear in the insole. So what I did when I first got these was I definitely wiped them down because they came from somebody else's house and were on somebody else's, somebody else's feet. And um, then I tried them on myself. <laughs> so in my personal opinion, I got my true European size, which is not really my true USA size um, because we know that European shoes tend to fit smaller and more narrow. So this is a 42, um, which is my true European size, but I'm a women's 10, women's 10 and a half. And so depending on the conversion of that, that's normally like a 40 and a half, 41, but I always get 42 in European shoes. Um, and let's see, these are Nikes. And these are 42. So I think it depends on the fashion house because everybody's fashion house is different. Like in Balenciaga and in Gucci, I wear 41, but Louboutin, YSL, now Chanel, um, I go with the 42. So it's really up to your foot. So I did the 42. Um, and like my Dior slides are 41 and a half. So it's very wishy-washy with these shoe sizes. What I can say is that these will definitely have to be um, stretched because they're a little tight in and around the toe box but I know that's gonna happen with time anyway. Um, I'm so glad that I was able to cash in on these pair. Um, they retail for $7.25 and I believe um, these were $6.25, so $100 off. I don't believe in paying full price for most designer things. Some things I do because I want it that badly, but this is a staple that I know was going to come and go and come and go. So it didn't matter for me to pay full price for these because I knew I would find them and I did. Um, and so, yes, those are the Chanel Espadrilles. I am going to even hotter climate soon. So I'm going to be wearing those. If you follow me on Instagram, you're definitely going to see them. Um, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. 
Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that is the Chanel Espadrilles. If you love those shoes as much as I do, give this video a thumbs up and I'll be sure to see you in my next one. Peace.